Hi, uh, I'm here today uh, to talk about Touch of Evil. Uh, it was directed by Orson Welles in 1958. Uh, during this time in 1958, there was a lot of uh, racial tension going on throughout America, between, especially between the borders as seen in the movie. Also, during this time, um, America was at war with Vietnam. Uh, this kind of was represented in the movie through the chaos that was happening in like in the world in general, uh, because there is chaos happening in the world during the time um, when this movie was first released. It was uh, it was edited and changed up, and so that it could be rushed out to be a B movie, and that meant they can get it out quicker and just make quick profit on it because I didn't think they were going to do too well on it. But as the t uh, years went on and as Walton March uh, recut the film to go with the to go with what Wells wanted from his what he, what he wrote down from how he wanted to see the film look like you can tell the major differences and now it is uh, seen as one of the greatest movies of all time uh, the genre of this movie was a film noir. Uh, film noir is more of a dramatic, um, old Hollywood um, law movie about did around 1940s to the 1950s. Uh, this genre is very popular, and many movies came out. But uh, definitely, this movie was one of them that changed the entire dynamic of things with the way it was cut and the artistic uh, camera angles and different scenes. Um, today I'm going to be analyzing, analyzing the scene, the opening scene where the bomb is planted and there's a crane shot throughout the entire scene following a car and then a couple and then you see, you hear an explosion in the background seeing these, seeing the car blow up in flames and during the scene uh, we can see a lot of different things going on from just from seeing the guy playing the bomb into the car to the couple getting in the car to it going throughout the city through the border you can see like all the chaos going on now people were just there's no real like the roads were just kind of chaotic you could see um, different styles of like respect for people because when the American came to the border, they let him right through. But when the Mexican or one of them, they asked for the papers immediately. Um, Orson Welles uh, was the director. And I think the way he was trying to communicate this scene was just kind of trying to show the chaos and security that Americans had over other places. And using these different camera angles and like this crane and like the different uh, music so I like, got first started off with a Latina music and then it led into uh, more kind of American style music I think as they got closer to the border and it kind of shift between characters as the as the scene went on and progressed um, it just shows all these different aspects from a low angle camera shots to high angle to far camera shots to close-ups it uh, went everywhere and there was no cuts during this entire scene I think it was three minutes straight of no cuts. So you got you to see kind of a live action and it makes you feel more like real, like more there during that time. Not like you're watching a movie, but you were actually there witnessing all this happen. And the chaotic motion is caught with like an elegance and a control. And when they, that's what Orson Welles was trying to show. Like, even though through the, all this chaos, the, the way the camera worked, like there is this like control, is almost a controlled chaos where there is still an elegance and there was still control, but um, overall everything looked kind of chaotic. Uh, there was a lot of extended takes, uh, and when they as they got like towards the border, you could tell that there was like there's really no real side to like the border. It was like you kind of can walk through and kind of walk back, but um, it's kind of kind of saying that you can't build a fence between good and evil, and we both live on both sides, like because like we were 
like you kind of represented like Mexico is kind of evil and America is kind of good, but like we're both like, kind of living on the both sides and the both sides can affect each other just as the bomb started off in Mexico and headed into to America. And these are just some of the things. And then you, some of the meetings were created through um, some of the camera shots, the like the natural lighting and low key lighting to like pop out and just show like this darkness to like to like what was going on in the world during that time.